What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to the NCAA 2K20 series here on the channel featuring the Ohio State Buckeyes, baby. We are back. Episode number three. You guys enjoyed the first two episodes, so I thought, why not do another one? And this time we are going to be playing the Kansas Jayhawks on Christmas Eve. That's right. Let's do a little bit of recap, though. In the last episode, uh, you guys watched as we got crushed by USC. And then we had uh, we did the simulation. And we went on a kind of a losing streak. We lost to Oregon. We lost to Louisville. We lost to Texas Tech. And then we finally got our first win of the season on November 25th against Iowa State, 107-93. Then we simulated a couple more days, lost to Gonzaga, and this is the big one, the marquee win of the season so far. We beat North Carolina 99-92. to It was a, a big win for us in the simulations. Then we sparked a, uh, a three-game win streak. We beat Georgia, and we beat Utah State. Uh, 14, 114 to 111. Then we went to to Maryland and lost against them. And we went to Buffalo and lost against them. And then we sparked another win streak with uh, Syracuse. We beat them 105 to 69. Actually, actually absolutely uh, obliterated them. Then we beat the defending national champions 119 to 106. And then we simulated a long way. And uh, beat South Carolina 107-103. And that is where we currently are right now at Kansas. Uh, December 24th on a three-game win streak for the Buckeyes. Uh, there is a few things that I want to show you guys before we get into this thing. Uh, number one is the all-star voting. You guys can feel free to pause and uh, check out the everybody that is on the all-star teams. If you want to do that, I'll let you guys uh, look at those in depth if you want to. The injury report is another one that I wanted to uh, make sure that I showed you guys because Kyle Young, we suffered a big injury early in the season. He dislocated his right patella. He was out for two to four months. Now he's currently on an eight to ten week, uh, eight to ten week injury. And then there's only been two season end injuries. One guy from St. Francis and then one guy from Iowa State. Not really any marquee names. I mean, Vernon Carey is kind of a marquee name, I guess, four to six weeks. Um, but other than that, Precious Achua is kind of a, a big name. There's there's some decent names on here that, on the injury list that have been out with an injury. Some of these guys are just day-to-day, -day, which is fine. Um, another one was... Oh, yeah. Another one was the transaction report because there have been some head coaching firings and hirings that I did not expect. Uh, Syracuse have fired Jim Beheim and hired Greg Popovich. And Iowa State fired Steve Prom and hired Steve Kerr. So there's not really much I could do about that. They, they're they going to do what they want to do. So I hope you guys aren't upset that the real college head coaches aren't the coaches of their original team. Uh, I really couldn't. I don't think I could do anything about it. So. Um, but let's move on past that. That doesn't really matter anymore. The, uh, the conference standings. We are currently middle of the road, 7-7, seven, seven, 500 overall. Uh, we're about two game, two and a half games back of, of the lead. The Cincinnati Bearcats are 9-4. and four, Maryland's 8-3. and three. Uh, The Western Conference, Gonzaga is absolutely crushing it at 11-4 and four, with USC right behind them a half a game back at 10-4. and four. Uh, Kansas is right up there at eight and four, I think eight and five, no eight and four. They are dominating right now in their conference. And then Iowa State's the last team in the Western conference at three and 14. That's probably why they fired, uh, Steve Prom and hired Steve Kerr over in the West or in, over in the Eastern conference. We have, uh, what's his face. If I could get to it, there we go. In the Western Conference, or in the Eastern Conference, Syracuse is 0-11. That's why they fired uh, Jim Beheim and hired uh, Greg Popovich. And then Clemson is not too far behind with 2-12 and record for them. Uh, the leaders of, of the East are Cincinnati, Gonzaga is leading that, so I got that done. Uh, the power rankings, Washington is leading everything, but this guy, Eric, his, his power ranking has Seton Hall number one. Uh, player stats, Caleb Wesson so far in the halfway or almost the halfway part of the season 
has 18.6 points per game, 7.1 rebounds per game. DJ Carton, 18.2 and 5.4. 5.4, which is fantastic on the assist range. Uh, Andre Wesson, a steep drop-off right here between these two guys and then the be- the rest of the players. 11.5 for Andre Wesson. Luther Muhammad has 11.4. C.J. Walker with 8.5. Alonzo Gaffney, 8.1. Uh, Ibrahim Dalla, 5.5 and 5.7 rebounds per game. Uh, Musa Jalla, 2.7. Kyle Young, despite being injured very early in the season, still averaging 4.8. And then uh, 3.4 rebounds per game with uh, 1.8 assists per game. So, like I said, he did get hurt pretty early on in the season. It was probably like the second or third, maybe fourth game of the season that he got hurt and and uh, dislocated his patella. So, that kind of sucks. But I think I am going to have to make some changes to this draft class because... Evan Mobley is in this draft class, and he is currently on USC because we just played him in the first game of the season. So this draft class is going to have to be changed to... I might as well do that right now now that I'm thinking about it. User-created draft class. This draft class is going to have to be changed to the 2022 draft class so that there's no multiple players, no duplicate players. So in this one, there might not be anybody that you really recognize right off the bat, but... That's just what we're gonna have to do since we're playing with such a uh, such a young roster that some of those players that are in the draft class for this next season would be on these teams like Evan Mobley and uh, there's a couple Buckeye I think there was a couple Buckeye DJ Carton was on there I think and Alonzo Gaffney was uh, was in that draft class so we had to change I had to change that personally or uh, manually to make sure that they wouldn't get any duplicates. But there was I realized that there was just so many duplicates in that draft class that I, I just decided to change it. So that's what we're going to be rocking with now, the 2022 draft class, and we'll just go from there. But enough jibber-jabbering. Let's get straight into the game against Kansas. First, got to make sure that the uniforms are the correct ones. I don't want to be rocking any Portland Trailblazer uniforms like I did in the first episode. Uh, we got the scarlet jerseys for the Buckeyes and the white jerseys for Kansas because they are the away team. So that will be radio. And let's get right into it. Christmas Eve against Kansas. There's the starting five for each team. Azabuki is going to be a problem. I have a bad feeling that this game could get out of hand very quickly with him in the paint because he is a big boy he's a big boy <clears throat> and I don't want to I don't really want to mess with him and look at that they also got De Sosa who is also a center and he's probably in the 6'10 6'11 range so they got a, two centers playing uh, power forward and center respectively so this could get ugly but here we are at Kansas Stadium this is the Buckeyes biggest test of the season so far. North Carolina was a big marquee win, but we got to move on from that. And we do get the ball first, and Luther Muhammad has it, trying to create some offense early. Gets down in the paint, gives it to Caleb Wesson, probably a mistake. He probably should have taken that to the hole. DJ Carton has it, trying to create some offense. Out to Alonzo Gaffney, who is in the starting lineup after the first game of the season, and he misses a nice jumper. To start off this ball game, we we can't start off with the kind of offense that we did against USC. We didn't score for like the first three or four minutes of that game, and they give it to Azabuki, and he's already a problem with a nice spin move on Alonzo Gaffney, and Kansas is up two nothing early in this game. I just have a bad feeling that this game could get out of hand if he gets hot. Alonzo Gaffney drives it in off the back of the rim, and it's out for a Kansas rebound. And that's already two missed shots for this Ohio State team. Dotson at the top of the key. A missed opportunity from Caleb Weston to get that rebound. They get the putback and it's 4 nothing already. Kansas lead. And DJ Carton loses the, the handle of the football or the basketball. I've been playing too much Madden. And Alonzo Gaffney gets it stolen by Kansas. And Moss takes it in. A nice shot. And that drains into the net. 6-0 Kansas, and right away we're starting off with that same kind of 
lackluster offense as we did against USC. Out to Caleb Wesson. Wesson tries to drive in, backs off, and drains a nice shot. Pretty shot for Caleb Wesson. And it's 6-2. to two. Kansas lead. Luther Muhammad, our best defensive player, guarding Moss here. Almost got uh, screened. DeSosa has the ball, driving in the paint, bodying Gaffney. But Gaffney's able to get that rebound. And now the fast break starts. Carton to Andre Wesson, who gets fouled hard by Azabuki. And Wesson will go to the line to shoot two. Drains the first one. The next one is up, and it's in and out. He's a, He hits one and one from the free throw line. Dotson, wide open, three in transition. Where was the Buckeye defense? They got lost coming back on defense. They got, got caught sleeping on that one. And it's nine to three now, just like that. Wesson has good defense on him by Azabuki. Luther Muhammad finds Gaffney, and Gaffney's able to take advantage of a missed opportunity from uh, De Sosa on that jump. He tried to steal it, and Gaffney was able to dunk that ball in with ease. It's nine to five now. Kansas leads. Three twenty-two to go in the in the first quarter. And that's a defensive three second from Caleb West, and they get an automatic free throw and the ball back. Luckily, he missed that free throw. Surprisingly, a point guard missing a free throw, that's not usually how it happens, but usually point guards are automatic from three throw lane. And now they get the inbound to Dotson, who missed that free throw to De Sosa. What's he going to do here? Just dribbling, wasting a little bit of shot clock at the top of the free throw line. To Dotson. Dotson takes a shot and he hits a green. It's a three for Dotson and Kansas lead 12 to 5. Did not think he would hit a three there. Carton to Wesson. Carton takes the jumper, bounces it off the back of the iron, and it's a Kansas rebound. Dotson has it, taking it up the court. Finds DeSosa and DeSosa off the back of the rim, and it's a rebound for Andre Wesson. Now the fast break, Luther Muhammad finds. Gaffney and Gaffney gets a green to go. A layup for the Buckeyes. 7 to 12 now. Jayhawks lead. 2.30 to go in the first quarter. Moss with the basketball. Driving it in. Good defense from the Buckeyes, but not good enough. Caleb Wesson could not get any pressure. And Moss lays it in. 14 to 7 now. Jayhawks. DJ Carton trying to juke him. And he loses the basketball. The fast break is on. They find Moss wide open. It's a three in and out of the rim and into the hands of Caleb Wesson. Buckeyes now on the fast break. Luther Muhammad finds Gaffney. Gaffney gets pressure from DeSosa and misses the shot. And now the Jayhawks have another opportunity. And Moss takes it in, and he lays it in with ease to put the Jayhawks up by eight. Nine, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to do math. And Gaffney with a just a poor shot attempt there. I don't know what he was thinking on that one. He's just trying to get something to go. And now Wilson takes a jumper. Luckily, it misses that one. And now Andre Wesson has it to DJ Carton, trying to do put a little bit of juke on him. Finds Gaffney. Gaffney drives into the lane, banking it off the backboard with a layup. 16-9 to now. Jayhawks lead. A little over a minute to go, and the Kansas calls their first time out of the game. This Ohio State team is not a first-quarter team. Let's just be frank about that. They are not a first-quarter team. They're more of a third-quarter, fourth-quarter kind of team. They just got to gel together. This is only the 15th game they've played together. As a bookie at the three at the three point line finds Abigail. That's not Abigail. That's Abaji or Ag, Agdabaj. I don't know how to say his name. I'm not going to pronounce that name. Luther Muhammad on the fast break loses the basketball and Garrett's taking it on the fast break. Gaffney's there behind him but can't recover and get the block. It's a 18 to nine ball game. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Carton finds Luther Muhammad. Muhammad gives it out to Andre Wesson, back to Carton, to Muhammad, 
to Gaffney. Gaffney trying to body his man, and he makes a bad pass, and it's out of bounds. Jayhawks ball. What was Gaffney thinking on that one? What was Gaffney thinking? And now Braun has the basketball, draining this clock. Garrett at the top of the key. C.J. Walker on him. He puts a double move on him, trying a little bit of dribble, dribble moves to get him out of the way. Caleb Wesson, he affects the shot enough for, for him to get a rebound. Shot clock going down, play clock going down. Wesson drives in, misses the layup, and that's how the first quarter ends. It's an 18-9 ball game. At the end of one, Kansas leads, and they've absolutely dominated so far. Start of the second quarter here in Kansas Jayhawk Stadium, James Naismith Court. Pass inside. They find Garrett. Garrett's able to get the shot up, but CJ or EJ Liddell. I don't know why I keep messing that up. EJ Liddell gets the uh, the pressure, able to make him miss the shot. Andre Wesson for three. Oh, they counted as a long two. He must have had his foot on the line. They counted as a long two. And Andre Wesson puts the Buckeyes down by seven. And they call backcourt violation on Justin Arns. Great pressure from the Jayhawks there. Great pressure from the Kansas Jayhawks to force Arns to get a backcourt violation after he stole the ball. The inbound pass now finds the man. Then Garrett... Gets the ball after. Dribbling around. He uses a screen. Finds Braun. Braun does the dribble move to get away. And Ibrahim Diala gets fouls. He fouls the man on the play. Braun to the free throw, free throw line for two. He sinks the first one. And he shoots the next one. And it is a miss. EJ Liddell gets the rebound. Finds Musa Jallo, who has a bit of speed on him. And this one, he jukes a man. And he gets a lay-in. Musa Jalu, a promising young man for this Ohio State team. He's got some, some future ahead of him. Dwayne Washington putting the pressure on this Kansas team. C.J. Walker gets screened. Diala gets a block on Garrett. They get the rebound. Find Azabuki back to Braun. And Braun takes the jumper from the free throw line. Misses Musa Jalu with the rebound. And now the fast break is on. Finds Ibrahim Dalla. Out to Washington. Washington with a layup and he's stripped and fouled. A shooting foul from the Jayhawks. Washington will shoot two. First one's up and good. The next one is a green. Sinks it. Two for two for Washington. And this is a four-point ball game. Careful, Walker. Don't reach in. As Ibuki has the ball, trying to dribble around, see what's open. He finds his man Garrett open. Walker closes down him, down on him, but he sinks the, the lay-in, and it's a 21-15 game. Jayhawks lead. Walker finds Jalu, finds Ibrahim Diallo. He gets around his man, and he gets fouled by Azabuki. Diallo will take two now from the free throw line. First one's up and good. Second one now is up, and it's in and out. One for two from the free throw line for Ibrahim Diala. And now a dunk from a little man. Tien, Tien, I think is how you pronounce that name. He gets a dunk to put the Jayhawks up 23-16. C.J. Walker now next possession for the Buckeyes. Finds Washington. The screen utilizes Diallo. Back to Washington. Washington moves around, finds Jalu. E.J. Liddell. With a jumper, misses it off the back, and DeSosa gets the rebound. Poor shot selection from the Buckeyes. And the Jayhawks are just heating up now. This is going to get ugly real quick if the Buckeyes can't recover. Walker dribbles down, finds Jalu on the three-point line. Jalu, still a young man. Diallo is playing good press coverage here. 
Good tight cover. Shot clock draining. Diallo goes in, gets fouled by De Sosa. And two more shots for Diallo. First one's up and no good. Banks it off the back of the rim. Second one's up and it's good. Two for four now for Diallo at the free throw line for the night. 17 game, 17 points for the Buckeyes, 25 for the Jayhawks. Wilson in the post. EJ Liddell. Tries to get tricked by Wilson. He gets his own rebound, puts it back up, and he's fouled by Ibrahim Dahl. No, by Dwayne Washington. Washington comes in out of nowhere, fouls Wilson. First one's up, and he missed. He was 100% from the free throw line at, before that first shot, and he misses his first one, nails the second one, and the, the Jayhawks are up 26-17. C.J. Walker goes by everybody. The blow-by was almost working for him. He misses the shot, though. He couldn't finish it. Now, JX from the three-point line. Trying to get a little bit of dribble move. Tian, he's already got a dunk in this game. And he, he misses the three-point. Liddell gets the rebound. Finds Diallo, who finds Washington. Nobody here to help from the Buckeyes. So the fast break just goes unanswered. Washington finds Jalu, who finds CJ Walker, who takes the shot. Nice arc, but it's too much arc. And the, the ball is bounced off the back of the rim. McBride has the ball now. To De Sosa, who bodies Dwayne Washington and easily puts it in. A huge size mismatch from, from uh, the Buckeyes defense there. Putting, they rotated Washington onto De Sosa for some reason. Luckily, Diala gets a nice jumper to go. 28-19 to 19 now. Kansas leads with a minute 44 to go in the half. Walker trying to get a little bit of pickpocket going, a little steal going. Musa Jalu. Oh, almost, almost had me on ice. McBride gets separation, and he takes the shot, but he misses it. DeSosa with the rebound out to his man, Tehan. On the three-point line. Washington putting pressure on him. Wilson has it deep in three-point territory. The shot clock drain. He has to get it off, and it's off the top of the iron. And it's out of bounds. Buckeye ball. A little under, a little over a minute to go in this game. EJ Liddell. Takes the jumper, but it's another miss for the Buckeyes. And they are just not clinical enough underneath the basket. Ibrahim Diallo somehow rotated onto McBride. That's not where he needs to be. Jalo with some good defense. And he takes it in and lays it in. Easy, easy buckets for this Kansas team. 30-19 to 19 now. Jayhawks lead. Walker loses the ball, gets it back, finds Diala. He takes a shot, and he misses again. What's new? This Ohio State team is not very good. A missed three, but they Kansas gets their own rebound. McBride takes the shot, missed it off the back, and Liddell gets the rebound. Now the Buckeyes push up the court. Finds Musa Jalu, who drives in, lays it off the backboard, and it's Miss Wilson with the rebound, and that's how the half will end. 30-19, to 19, Kansas leads, and it's been absolutely embarrassing for this Buckeye team. Chris Holtman has not been able to dial up any plays that can beat this Kansas team. The leading scorer is Alonzo Gaffney with six points. This is not the game that I envisioned going up against Kansas here. Let's get that leading score, Alonzo Gaffney, back in the game. He may be our only hope to, to get back in this game. Dotson from the inbound takes it up the court. And DJ Carton fighting for that basketball. Dives on it. 
Does he have any support? He does not have any support, and it's going to be a jump ball. Nobody, no Buckeye jerseys coming to help DJ Carton. That's just unacceptable from this Buckeye team. Undisciplined, just not caring. We do win the jump ball. Find Caleb Wesson, and Wesson has to hook it, a sky hook almost, a modified sky hook, and it's in and out, and it's a rebound for Kansas. A nice shot from from Moss, and it's 32 to 19 now. And a quick shot up the court from this Buckeye team, and Dotson loses the ball, has to get it out to Andre Wesson. Finds, uh, who's he find? He finds DJ Carton once again. Finds Gaffney. Gaffney takes a shot, and it's a green from the Big 12 symbol on the court. 21-32, Kansas leads early in the second half. And Dotson just dices up this Buckeye team. Luckily, he misses with the pressure from Justin Arns. And Gaffney finds... Caleb Wesson, who finds Justin Arns, who lays it in with a tough angle on that lay-in, but he does get it to go. 32-23 now. And Gaffney, or Wesson, excuse me, he steals the ball and lays it in with a dunk. And this Buckeye team starting to spark a little bit. Playing good defense here in the couple possessions. And a fake three, almost, he, he reconsidered it. He had a shot. Finds Azabuki. He just bodies Caleb Wesson. And no chance for Wesson there. Azabuki dominates him in the post. And now Carton dribbles it around a little bit. Draws double coverage. Finds Wesson who finds Gaffney. Gaffney tries it. Pulls it up. Bad shot. Bad pass from Justin Arns. Finds Caleb Wesson who takes the jumper. And it's a miss again for Caleb Wesson. He just can't seem to find his stroke. Dotson at the three-point line. And he takes the jumper and he sinks it. This Kansas team is being very, very decisive and very clinical underneath the basket. Carton to Wesson. They're playing strong defense against this Ohio State team. To Arns. To Wesson. Wesson drives in. Tries to post up on Azabuki, but he misses again. Caleb Wesson is not playing very well in this season. A poor shot missed, and Alonzo Gaffney gets the rebound, and now the fast break is on. DJ Carton tries to blow by his man, puts a shot up, and Dotson gets the rebound after a good, uh, good defense on him. Wilson now has it at the top of the key, tries to drive in on Gaffney. Gaffney gets tricked, and he lays it in, and it's good after a couple rolls. This game is starting to get ugly. It's a 13-point lead for Kansas. Finds Wesson to, to Carton. Carton drives in, and it's a hook shot layup, and it's a poor shot again. A poor decision. Another one for this Buckeye team. And it's another capitalized opportunity for Kansas. Gaffney on to Sosa. He finds Dotson somehow. He he doesn't get the shot off. Carton affects the shot. And he gets called for a reach-in. DJ Carton gets his first personal foul of the ball game. Not a, a reach-in according to me, but I'm not a referee, so. And now Dotson tries to get in. It's blocked away by Caleb Weston and out of bounds. Jayhawks will get the ball. Inbound pass now. Holding on to it. Finds his man to Garrett. Finds Braun. Braun has been known to take the three. He steps up a little bit. Still misses the jumper. Easy jumper. And finds Justin Arns. Arns takes it in. Drives in. Under pressure. Misses the shot. from And Garrett gets the rebound after putting good pressure on him. And now DJ Carton steals it right away. Finds Arns. And Arns dunks it. In transition. Justin Arns gets a nice dunk. And it's 38-27 now. Kansas lead. The Buckeyes have trailed this entire ball game. Will they get some sort of spark to get them back in this game 
Another rebound now. This time, Arns again, and he goes by his man and lays it in. Justin Arns starting to heat up a little bit. Could this be a sign of things to come in the future? He's got to keep it. He's got to sustain this heat. And this Buckeye team has to sustain this defense that they're playing. It is working right now. And Garrett and Azabuki is left uncovered in the paint. And he just easy, easy buckets. These are just the mental errors that the Buckeyes have made all season long. They're going to have to get better with these mental errors if they want to make the tournament. And Justin Arns, the leading scorer in this game, lays it in again. Justin Arns is on fire right now. Just got to feed the hot hand, and he nails his and one. A three-point play for Arns puts the Buckeyes down 40 to 32 now. Finds Garrett in the corner. They find their man in the post. They find Azabuki now. He doesn't take the shot right away. Tricks a couple of the Buckeye players. He hesitates a little bit, and it's a 10-point game. Walker. Finds Gaffney, who is a little bit gassed right now. He jukes a man, dribbles around him, and he misses an easy lay in Alonzo Gaffney. Just unacceptable there from Alonzo Gaffney. Missing an easy lay in that could have brought us within eight. And Gaffney now gets another shot. This time he pushes it in. It's a 10 point ball game once again, 44 34. With uh, 15 seconds to go in the third quarter, it's been a much better quarter here at the end of the uh, end of it, at least. C.J. Walker putting some pressure on Garrett, and he gets called for a reach in. C.J. Walker with his first personal of the ball game. The inbound now with 6.1 to go. Garrett tries to drive in. Is he going to take a shot? He does take a jumper, and he sinks it with a half a second to go. Doesn't get the shot off in time, and it missed anyway. It's 12-point ball game with a quarter to go. It's not looking good for this Buckeye offense. Justin Arns is really the only offense we've had. C.J. Walker takes the ball up the court, finds Arns, who finds E.J. Liddell, Liddell fakes the shot, gives it back to Walker at the three-point line. He tries to drive in a little bit, finds Arns. Arns with the dribble move. He drives in and gets a foul. He draws a foul on Braun, and he'll shoot two. First one's up, and green it goes right through. Second one now. Justin Arns, another green one, two for two on that, on that possession there from the free throw line. It's a ten-point game now. We need to play some tremendous defense down the stretch here if we want to win this game. And Garrett somehow finds his way into the paint open, and he's able to body C.J. Walker down low and get the bucket to go. 12-point game once again. Arns, the hot hand, finds Ibrahim Dalla, finds Musa Jalu, who sneaks his way through and is able to lay it in to bring it back within 10. This team is scrappy, I'll tell you that. And the Jayhawks call their second timeout of the game. Bill Self wants to think this one through. Five minutes to go in the game. Down by ten. The Buckeyes need something to happen. They need some spark. Not just Justin Arns. They need something crazy to happen. Like Azabuki sits the rest of the game or something. I don't know. Garrett at the top of the key. And CJ Walker almost got that ball stolen. Azabuki at the three-point line. This is not where they want him. Dotson, this is where they want it. This is where they want him. And he takes a shot, un a contested shot, because the shot clock was draining, and he misses it. C.J. Walker with the rebound. Finds Justin Arns, who loses the ball, has to pick it up from the dribble. Finds Musa Jalu, who's also been playing tremendously well. He takes a shot. Ibrahim Diallo gets the rebound, puts it back up, and he gets the miss. That was our chance to get within eight points, and Garrett with a tremendous show of skill right there to put this game back up by 12. 
It's a 12-point deficit for the Buckeyes. Liddell to Arns. Arns tries to dribble around his man. He loses the ball, and the fast break is on. Dotson in the paint, lays it in. 14-point deficit now with 3.55 to go in the game. Quick inbound from the Buckeyes. Walker finds Wesson. No, he doesn't. It's another intercepted pass, and the Kansas Jayhawks are running away with this game. The Buckeyes are crumbling in, in the big moments. Walker to Arns. Arns takes the shot, and he misses it off the rim. And now they find another one. Easy buckets for this Kansas team. And this the Ohio State Buckeyes are not ready for the big time. They are not ready for the big marquee opponents. Walker picks up his dribble, finds Liddell, and Liddell misses a shot. This team is just utterly garbage right now. They cannot hit a shot. They can't play defense. Dotson blows by. It's a 20-point game just like that. Within like a minute, it goes from a 12-point game to a 20-point game. And Walker gets the ball back, finds Diala. Diala finds the shot. No, he doesn't. It's another miss. It's a story of misses. That's what this game will be boiled down to. Missed opportunities from the Ohio State Buckeyes. And at this point, I'm just waiting for this game to be called. It, is, it needs to end real quickly because Kansas is starting to pull away. It's a 22-point game, and the Buckeyes are just taking uncontested shots that are just poor choices, just not good attempts they're starting to get frustrated here chris holtman needs to get a, a hold of his team and he needs to uh get a handle on what this team he needs to learn how to coach this team the right way every team is different so he needs to learn how these players gel together maybe it's just not their year they're just not ready yet this team is young and this team is just inexperienced. They're just not ready for the big time. They're not ready to go up against the Kansas of the world, the Dukes of the world, the Michigan States of the world. They're just not ready yet. And Kansas is proving that that fact right there. We stayed in it a little bit, but it just it just got out of hand. The the gap in talent really showed in the second half. The gap in the talent here, Kansas getting the five-star recruits, Ohio State only getting three-star, maybe four-stars if they're lucky. It's just not the same kind of talent that they have here in Ohio. Walker finds Arns. Arns has to pick up the ball. Finds Walker. To Jallo, to Liddell. Liddell takes the shot, and he drains it. So that ends our uh, scoreless little scoreless run that we were going on. Kansas was holding us to no points for a while. And Orange just gets a frustration reach and foul. His first personal of the game. Under a minute to go in the ball game, and this one has been over for a while. We never led at all in this game. Kansas went coast to coast. They went buzzer to buzzer with the lead in this game. They never trailed for one second. It was never in doubt. They never had any fears that they were going to lose this game. They were obviously the better team, and they proved it here on on the big stage. I think this is a nationally televised game. And they definitely proved that Ohio State is not ready. They may be ready in the future, but this first season is going to be a rough one. Caleb Wesson is not the the uh, the answer for this Buckeye team. It may be Diallo, but he's got to get bigger. He's got to get stronger. He's he's too small, too thin. He gets bodied by these bigger centers like like uh, Azabuki and DeSouza. And it ends 67 to 40. An embarrassing performance from Ohio State. We shouldn't even be on the same court as Kansas in that one. 
Justin Arns is our leading scorer with 11 points. Alonzo Gaffney next with 10. And then it's a steep drop-off. Wesson, 5. Diallo, 4. Jallo, 4. Caleb Wesson, 2. With five rebounds. EJ Liddell also had five rebounds. DJ Corton had no points and five assists. It's just uh it's just different different talent. That's all I can say, really. Kind of embarrassing to see the the gap in talent that these two teams had. But that puts us seven and eight now on the season, and I will simulate the Iowa game and the Xavier game, and we will play the game against Duke on the fifth of January and then we will simulate to uh we will simulate to the first we'll simulate to the all-star um the teams we'll pick the teams that'll be its own little video I think no actually uh, I'll do we'll play the Duke game in the next episode we'll simulate the game against VCU the game against Seton Hall and the game against Arizona and then what we'll do is we'll play Florida at home and then we'll do the all-star picks in the same video. So those will be the two game, the two things we do in the next, the video after the next video. We'll simulate these three games against Cincinnati, uh, Clemson, and Baylor. And then our our video, the next video after that will be the all-star weekend. And uh, then we'll go from there. We'll probably play either the Michigan State game or the Kentucky game. I would probably assume the Michigan State game since that's a Big Ten game. Uh, yeah, and then we'll go from there. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and the subscription button while you're down there. It only takes a few seconds, and it really does um, show me that you guys appreciate what I do here, and I just want to make good content for you guys. Hopefully, maybe it's not good content, but it's funny content. That's at least what I try to do, and, and I hope I'm succeeding. But if you guys did enjoy, then make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!